Okay, I think we are live. Facebook? Okay, so today I wanted to, I thought I would come on and I would share a couple of my thrifted finds. It hasn't been an exciting week at all um, at the thrift store. Uh, so, and today in Iowa, we have had like 50 degree weather, 40 degree weather. It's been really nice. And today we had a complete ice storm. Kids are home from school. Um, welcome to February in Iowa. <laughs> Next week is March. I took Hilly out today and it was like the entire driveway was just like a sheet of ice. So um, that's where we're at today. So I hope it's warmer where you are, wherever you are. Um, but okay, so today I wanted to share my thrift, some of my thrift, some of my thrifted finds from the past week. And I also wanted to, um, so I shared a video about Ironstone and some things I had found in a thrift store a couple of weeks ago. I think it was a reel. And so I got a lot of questions about what is Ironstone? Uh, how do you know it's Ironstone? What should I look for? Those kinds of things. Um, and, and somebody was asking, a couple people actually said, what is Ironstone? Should I be looking for it? And so I did a whole um, podcast episode about this that will, will be coming out later, but not necessarily. Just because somebody else shares it or somebody else loves it or somebody else is looking for it doesn't mean that it's something that you should fill your house with. Um, I like to compare it to like the Ray Dunn craze. Was anybody into that? You know, everybody was sharing it. And so then everybody was looking for it. And now I see Ray Dunn all over in the thrift stores. So obviously collect things and look for things that you absolutely love and want to like put in your home, not just store away. We can talk about organization and all that too. But um, so it's just, if, if you love it, yes, um, look for it and start learning about it. I don't know a lot about Ironstone. Stone. I think it, it's called like the poor man's the poor man's something. It was made durable. There's no iron in it. Um, it was just made durable. <clears throat> I just think it really, it's just pretty. I love to have it in our home. Um, I love the old, like the way it looks, the crackling, the, um, it, and it's not that easy to find. Uh, it's not that easy to find reasonably priced, if that makes sense. So when I do find it in the thrift stores, it's like winning the lottery. It's like you found the jackpot, but I don't pick up everything I found. Um, I shared another reel where I was in a thrift store and they had a bunch of, they were cups and I want to say saucers or like little dessert plates or something. And I didn't have any place for those and I wasn't going to really use them to decorate with. So I left those there. Um, but there are definitely pieces that I will pick up when I find them. So first of all, I'll just kind of walk through what I have found this week at the thrift store. Um, like I said, there's only a few items here. This I actually found and I shared it in stories. Um, this was, I could have shared it in my last week's haul or no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was, it was after that. I was, I'm thinking of the stool that I shared in stories, but this is one of the things I found. It's not vintage or anything, um, but hello green and the beautiful, um, the side of it. And I love the way that the, the lid opens. Like, it's like, a, I don't want to break this. Matt did it. And now. I don't want to break it, but the lid opens like this way. It's just like hinged, but I've never seen one like this. Uh, so in, in the green color, it's really pretty. Love that. I also found, I cannot believe this, a bunch of these eucalyptus. These are the hearth and hand, the eucalyptus stems, a whole bunch of them and something extra in here. Um, one, two, three, four. I don't even know. There's like six or seven of them. There might be eight. But so definitely pick those up. Um, I'm always telling you guys to pick this stuff up when you find it. Uh, here, I'm going to show you. This is actually, I thought I just heard Hilly. This is actually a hearth and hand um, find as well. But this is this was in some iron stones I was going to share with you. And then this is part of the brand new stuff I found at the thrift store too as well. This was a different time, but... I just love using this in our home and sometimes they can get expensive. Um, definitely I found some inexpensive faux stems like this like on Amazon and sometimes at Home Goods and Target or Home Goods and TJ Maxx you can find them but to find a whole bunch of this I, I was so surprised with that. Then I found this little guy. Okay not a fan of the little chicken and I'm not a fan of the little yellow whatever it is in here. I just love the dainty wire birdcage for spring. And so 
Oh, are you gonna make me have to get, oh, I didn't bring any tools here. I wanted to just do this here. I'm not gonna be able to do this here. So anyway, don't, don't love this. I love the dainty wire little thing for spring. And then this was also there. So I am going to stick that in there. I might throw some greenery or, some, greenery or something in there, but it's, I need like wire cutters to get this off. Um, but so always make sure, think outside of the box. I love, I mean, I love this little dainty, it's just a wire little bird, bird cage, but what's inside makes you just see what's inside, right? But take all of that out and then add something more like this. And this would be really cute on your coffee table on top of, um, coffee table books, which I did find some like cookbooks and stuff as well that I'm not going to share here, but on coffee table books, um, on your coffee table, obviously in a shelf, in a hutch, on a shelf, in a hutch, it would be really cute. But you know, the bright yellow chicken and stuff is not going to go with our house, but like this will. So just keep your eyes open and your, um, and just think outside of the box. Little old frames like this. I love just little, um, old black frames. And so another place that you should be looking is when you're at the thrift store, look at the framed photos. Um, they're usually together, not photos, but like pictures, frames, photos sometimes are there, watercolors. because And then I pick these up because usually a lot of the times, not always, I will find maybe it's a watercolor, like an original watercolor somebody did or like a little painting, but I cannot stand the frame. But a little black you know, frame like this um, I can just slip it into and have these on hand. So usually you can find these dirt cheap, a lot cheaper than like the dollar store even. Um, so I grab these because I know I will find things at the thrift store that I can put in here and I'll like that frame a lot better. I found this guy as well. I love old wood uh, kitchen tools and utensils, so I always pick those up. I will have a launch tomorrow on my, so you can shop some of these items uh, and some other ones that aren't, I don't have here. On my Instagram shop, I did not put that link in the description. I will put it in a comment when I get off here. But it's just my creative day shop on Instagram. I launch something, something, new things every Wednesday at noon CST. And so um, we'll be launch, launching a few things tomorrow at noon. So, okay. On to Ironstone. If you guys have a favorite, see, it wasn't that, I think the, the conception is that I find things all the time and I know, I mean, this was really it um, over the last week. I did, I do tell people go as often as you can and this at the end of last week, I was just, there was too much going on so I didn't have a lot of time to go. Um, and even over the weekend, we were busy and I didn't have time to go. So <clears throat> obviously if you go more often, you will find more things, but I didn't. I didn't find much uh, over this last week. So you don't find great things all the time, but keep going, keep going. Okay, so Ironstone. I just thought this would be kind of, a, since I didn't have a ton of things that I found, I just thought I would kind of share that in here um, as well, just because I get that question. And it is something, like I said, I'm still learning, but if I find it, um, like pieces like this, especially pictures and things, I'm going to pick them up. And so, so there's different names of ironstone and a lot of them are stamped. Um, so there is definitely stamps that you can look for um, on the bottom. Oh, I have some greener in here, so I'm going to be spilling this everywhere. But on the bottom, so always look on the bottom for um, any markings. Here's like when you find this, I still can't believe like this marking, is that upside down for you guys? I can't even tell which way it is. <laughs> this marking, so they're kind of all different. <clears throat> you definitely, did I show you this one? I can't remember. These are the same. It's K, K, T, and K. Um, and I do, if you Google this, you, you, you'll find a lot of the, uh, you'll find a lot of it. There are tons of, you know, just reproductions of this stuff as well. So in the thrift store, I'm always constantly doing this. I'm just always looking. And not all the time does it say have these markings. Not every piece of ironstone is going to have a marking. But one thing I look for, oh, I wish I had a, 
kind of like a fake one. Maybe what I'll do is I will, um, I, if I find one at a thrift store, I could pick it up if that would be helpful and kind of show you the difference. This was actually, uh, we went to kind of like a town-wide yard sales. And in this town, there was a shop. Like these people own this shop, but it wasn't a shop. It was just kind of like they were using it to house things. And so she had this, it was full of dirt and she had some plants in it. So I guess I should show it like this. So this is what I saw. I couldn't see the inside. Obviously it was full of dirt. And then again, I, I picked it up. Um, but this kind of, oh, it's just, this is the kind of stuff I love. <laughs> the just It's just so much character and it's just, um, now some people were telling me this is from heat over the years. Um, it kind of discolors like this, like this picture. This almost gives it like a, um, um, sorry, I just got a message. It like totally gave it a whole different look and design, but that wasn't like part. Of, this is what it originally looked like. But this one was like, it did this. So I'm learning that this is from heat over the years. So I don't know if like somebody set this on a stove or, or whatnot. This one doesn't have as much of that. This one's pretty like, doesn't have a lot of that look, but the shape and the size of this is, is good. I love white pictures. They're so pretty. Um, here, let me show you. So obviously in the winter, this is not going to look right, but obviously in the winter, if you had winter green greenery in there, and then you, you could put like twinkle lights in there. And then in the springtime and like summertime, this is again, too tall, but they're just, they're staple pieces that you can have. And then it's not a bunch of extra decorating, uh, cause you just change out what's inside of it, but still keep this and it looks different. Like it just, it looks good for the season. Now this, <laughs> this was at a thrift store. I shared this, I think here with you guys, um, as I was checking out, it was just on a random, like an aisle next to the checkout and you can kind of see that patina and that kind of wear inside there again. This is what I saw. So this was up here. And so it was kind of like, is that reproduction? Or like, I had to get closer. Um, you can see the little spout thing here as well. I just didn't know. And then obviously you, you can turn it over and then, and then you can find it. But um, this is one of my favorite things as much and this. So I think I've been talking over the last couple of weeks about this guy. So this guy was at a thrift store in the book section and he was full of these, this massive fall leaves and flowers. Like it was so big. That's all you noticed. But again, I saw this and it almost looks, it was like too good to be true. And like, there's no way that's the real thing. Um, and so again, it's, I'm trying to make sure that it's, and you see this, like, look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just makes me so happy. So you will see these kinds of markings. Like I said, not all the time. Like some of them will be just like the white, um, like they're not, they haven't gone through all this, but there is also reproduction of this too. So a good place to look for that is I would say Home Goods, TJ Maxx, those kinds of stores kind of walk in those aisles and you can kind of see some of them are really, really bad. Like it'll be um, like a kind of like a light It'll be like a white piece, but it'll look like the gray has been grouted almost on here. And so like, you'll really be able to tell like this, it's smooth. Like this, it's not like there's, um, what do I want to say? You know, it's not like chipped or anything here. It's just like in the, it'll be smooth. Some of the pieces, like the reproduction, you can actually, you know, you can feel the different, the different things. Terry, I can see, I remember when you found that picture. I, again, I was leaving. I had nothing in my hands and I'm like, I'm going to go through the books. I love going through the books, but sometimes I get lost in the books. And so I'm like, sometimes I'm just like, I don't have the time. Um, and I, and then I thought I'll just make one little quick thing around the books. And then this was there. I, I was so happy. <laughs> I was so happy. I, I don't have, I do have a couple other pieces. Um, you know what? I should have brought that grape juice picture that I talked about last time to my, I wonder if that's ironstone, but it's got, 
I don't think it is. I don't know. It's that my dad grew up with from his like great uncle. I have it on our shelf. Um, I have some other things. Yes, crazy. Yes, Jennifer. Yes, that's what it's called. Crazy. Um, yes, Terry's saying she definitely needs to learn more about iron stone markings. I do too, because they're not all the same. And they're not, um, some of them aren't even marked, which I'm learning about. So, um, and I have, a, like I said, a few other pieces, but I have seen collections where there's like hutches and cabinets, like full of them. Um, cups and saucers and plates and like all kinds of things. And I do think there are some pieces that are, um, I do think, I know, that are more rare and like harder to find um, than others. But um, so yeah, I think you just find what you like. Uh, see pieces like this and like this, I can use all year round, like actually decorate with them around the house. This is usually filled with Scrabble tiles um, on our uh, coffee table. It's not right now. I have filled this with like Christmas ornaments and things around the holidays. The teapot's a little different. I mean, it's just, it's decorated right now just in a, our hutch. Did I grab that from the hutch? or from, I think that's in the dining room cabinet right now. But it's so funny, the kids are home today. And so I was getting all this stuff together to do this video. And Lena's like, you don't even ask anymore. When mom just starts picking up random decorations around the house, you just, you don't even ask. You just know it's just, I said, it's trust the process, Lena. And this is a process. <laughs> My kids are so used to this stuff. It's so funny, but they're usually not home when I'm doing this. So I just started picking up all these things. And then I had them help me carry a couple of things down. Um, Heidi, that's because of you. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I thought I would just, um, um, answer some of these questions. You guys are making me laugh. Answer some of these questions that I received recently. 65 in Tennessee. Enjoy that. Um, Georgia. Janet, hello. I'm glad you're here. Surprise snow. Ugh, I don't want that surprise anymore. I hope we're done with it. So let me know. I would love to know, uh, and that, yeah, they do. I'm when you find them because it's it's just not something you can just go to any store. That's why I love decorating our house this way. Just like random, like this cabinet, what I, it was a curbside find. It was a free find. Um, but that's why I just love decorating because you're not going to just walk in, you know, to a store and find these items. So I love just looking for fun items like this. And then when you hit things that are kind of more rare like this and find them, it's just it's just so fun. It's like a it's a hobby that I just love. So. Hello in Kentucky. So I would love to know, do you collect ironstone? Do you have you, do you find it when you're out hunting? Is it something you want to learn more about? Maybe you are an expert and you can tell me some things um, here too. So if you're watching this on replay or um, later on, please put it in the comments or whatever. Um, I would love to know. But, but yeah, that's all I had to share today. I didn't find a ton of exciting things that are here in front of me, um, but they will be launched on the shop page tomorrow. Some things new things tomorrow at noon central and I will put that I will put a link to the shop page in the comments I didn't put them in the description so I will put that in the comments um and maybe we can pin that to the top um so then it's easy to find but okay now I'm gonna gotta have to go put all this stuff away and then I can get to work Terry, I resell and have so many pieces right now that are either iron stone or similar that you're not selling. Oh, they're, they're not selling? Do you sell online or do you have an online, like a booth somewhere or a shop somewhere? Janet, yeah, it's really pretty. Iron stone's really pretty. I love too that it was called the poor man's, if somebody knows, it's called the poor man's something dishes but that's not what it is but I just I love that and it was because it was made strong and it was um and these pieces have lasted a long long time so I mean this one's got like a chip on it but that stuff that doesn't bother me I mean if there was a huge crack in there or something that's why when I found this huge pot um with all the false stuff in it and there was no it wasn't cracked or anything oh my gosh um I'm gonna sit here just for a little bit longer and see if she answers or if somebody else has anything to add about ironstone. Or if you guys have a collection, put take a photo and share what you have uh, underneath 
here in the comments. I would love to see your pieces. Some of you probably have really big collections of it. Um, and I think in some areas it's easier to find That's what it is. Yes. Um, if you go on Etsy, you can find tons of it. There's a lot of sellers and stuff on Terry. Terry, you have an, okay, the private group and Macari and offer up. Okay. And they're not selling. I see a ton of it on Etsy as well. You should start an Instagram shop. Poor man's porcelain, poor man's china. Yes, I think what I, I think it was china was the word I was looking for, but yes, yep. I love that. I love it. Okay, I think that's everything for now. If you have questions, let me know. Uh, I will come back in and check after I'm off here, but have a great rest of your Tuesday. Hopefully the ice goes away. It gets warmer. And we'll be well into March and hopefully just away from winter. I'm ready for it this year. Okay, guys, have a great day.